this game. It revolutionized 3D gaming and the ability to just play games on your computer. The only issue with it was that it was intended for MS-DOS, a now outdated operating system. So you might be wondering, how do you get it working on modern computers? Well, you use source ports. They download the source code and modify it to work on new systems. I'm going to be telling you how to get Chocolate Doom, which is a very famous source port designed to be as similar to the original Doom, and I'm going to be teaching you how to make it look good, just like it was brand new. I'm going to be doing full screen, and I'm going to be changing the controls, and I'm going to be teaching you how you can even play multiplayer deathmatch. The first step that you want to do is go to configure display and make sure it's full screen. This is necessary if you want to play it in full screen. You can turn it off, but I do not recommend it. Now you want to go press advanced and make sure that fix aspect ratio is turned off. This will make it in a format that is a wide screen. Now you want to close that. Now what you want to do is go to keyboard and have it set to this. This means that always run will be enabled, so you will always be running, and it will set it to the WASD format. Now you want to close. Now here's um, one that is unnecessary, but I extremely recommend. Go to mouse configuration and set it to this. This means that basically, all it does is makes it so that it can only turn left and right. For some reason, the original Doom had it, so if you move your mouse forward, you slightly straight forward. So, you do not want to have vertical mouse movement. Do not have it. And let's test it. See? Now, I'm going to allow it. Now let's test it again. By just moving my mouse, I can still walk and move. I don't recommend this at all. So, turn it off. Now, if you want, you can change these and you can also test them. Now, all you want to do is save them. Or you can just press escape and quit the config. And it'll make sure to save settings. All you need to do in the command line arguments is say dash server space dash deathmatch or co-op or whatever. Then you want to do dash one more time server name and then the name like but it has to be in quotes like for example server name a little more there something like that. Now let's launch. It should create a server. That's very very simple and then you can start the game. The only issue is sometimes, in certain situations, you can't actually see your own server. That is because you need to port forward it, and that's a completely different thing, and I'm not going to explain port forwarding. The only thing I will explain is that the port is a very, very specific port, and then the port is 2342. 2342. You can also start it from here, like dash server name. Hi. There, and then start. You can do this. So there are multiple ways to do it. But also, one thing I extremely recommend is if you do do it from the setup. Make sure to do no monsters. That is a very, very crucial step. I don't think you want monsters in deathmatch. So, that's all you do.